Google Performance Max campaigns came to revolutionize the advertising industry for all businesses really, but especially for e-commerce stores in my opinion, because the options you have now are very, very interesting if you run a brand, if you run a store. So my goal with this video is a, is a very casual video where I'm going to walk you through the three main pillars of uh, a Max Perform, a Performance Max campaign actually. That information is uh, from this tweet I recently posted. If you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I will leave the link in the description. Uh, it's where I'm posting a lot about e-commerce, uh, Google ads uh, posts on, on uh, very in-depth tips. So very briefly, let's take a look uh, at what, what composes uh, Google Performance Max campaigns, why they are so important in uh, the breakdown of each section. So the three of the pillars that make PMAX so special. What Performance Max campaigns are very briefly in some Google condense all its campaigns types, all its campaigns type into one. Uh, you can now run display, shopping, search and YouTube under the same campaign. So this is really crucial here. Uh, now they f what they fundamentally did is they gave you an option, they gave us all an option to create uh, campaigns for all their placements for all real estate Google has, has uh, advertising real estate Google has under one um, structure. And the huge thing about this, the really important thing about this is uh, first, the intelligence is aggregated. That means uh, all placements, all your results from all uh, advertising efforts are talking to each other and exchanging intelligence. That means if your campaigns are doing really well on YouTube or search, the same intelligence is going to be used to some extent to teach the shopping and the display campaigns, which means that if you really find uh, uh, um, a placement or a strategy, a, a video strategy, for example, that drives a lot of sales, if you really nail down one of these areas, all this is going to be leveraged across uh, all your placements. This is going to drive your account much further. Number two is that it's easier for you to effectively explore new placements for your ads. Now you don't have to create five different campaigns. You can create one and have a huge, uh, basically the same amount of reach and uh, uh, more control. Granted, you can still create other campaigns alongside our performance max campaigns, which is something I recommend. However, uh, you now have the option to uh, explore from one place. Number three is much more scalable once you dominate all placements. So because you have this intelligence aggregation and because you have this uh, unified structure, you can go much further with your budgets. You have much more space to spend uh, more efficiently because Google is using its AI to put money where it should. You, uh, the campaign basically do not rely on you uh, manually uh, choosing budgets between uh, campaigns. So that's really powerful. Uh, also, number four, Google is giving a lot more emphasis, that's especially important for e-commerce brands looking to acquire new customers instead of just remarket to existing uh, customers and, 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 and page visitors, for example. Google is giving a lot more emphasis on bringing new customers as opposed to bringing a lot of remarketing traffic. Uh, that's something Google did a lot with smart shopping campaigns. Most of the traffic uh, actually came from people that already interacted with your business in some way. So newsletter subscribers or uh, someone that does, uh, found you organically, someone who visited your website, people who are in your email marketing, Google leverage a lot of those audiences to bring back and convert, which uh, is something that uh, was really good for results, of course, but not necessarily uh, was bringing a lot of new customers. So now what Google do, uh, is doing with Performance Max is uh, they're giving emphasis and they actually have a new section just for new customers that allow you to focus on a new acquisition, which is huge. Uh, now, let's take a look at the three pillars, which is what I came here to uh, show you. So the number, uh, the first one is asset groups. That's uh, think of this as your uh, ad sets. Um, if you, if we are talking about Facebook or ad groups, if we are talking about Google, uh, up until this point. Uh, number two, audience signals. Think of this as your audiences. You are basically uh, choosing who Google 
will go after to show your ads. There's a nuance to this, a very interesting nuance to this, which I'm going to explain to you. And also goals. Basically, watch what do you want Google to do, uh, the goal you're giving to Google. So let's break down each of these. First, asset groups. So asset groups are uh, what we used to call ad groups. It's basically a compartment that contains your marketing materials, your images, your headlines, your, your descriptions, your videos, your product feeds, uh, your uh, smart shopping product feed, for example, uh, your destination page, uh, pages, etc. So that's where you add all your uh, creative stuff and uh, you also add your audience signal. I'm going to touch on that in a second. So you can now upload your assets from different campaigns so for example, the text element of the search campaigns and the image aspect of the display campaigns and the video aspect of the YouTube campaigns uh, into one asset group. So you're getting all those elements from all the campaign types Google has to offer and you're adding into one asset group. So this is really important and Google will do the heavy lifting of combining and testing thousands of uh, combinations across thousands of combinations across all of their networks to discover what works best for you. So now what you're doing, they're matching your, your best performing search terms with your best performing YouTube videos and your best performing uh, display images. And they're creating a very uh, well optimized uh, 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 marketing after effort pretty much. Uh, and there's more. You can have up to 100 asset groups inside one single Pmax campaign uh, that opens unlimited creative opportunities as you can have one asset group for each of your best sellers, for example, and send the traffic to that specific uh, product. So what I mean by this is um, under one single uh, Pmax campaign, you can have up to 100 asset groups, as I mentioned. Uh, and you can have different assets inside of each asset group. So you can have 100 uh, 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 categories of assets. So this is uh, a little bit complicated to understand at first, but for example, uh, here, as you can see, uh, this is an asset group. As you can see this rectangle right here, this is another one. So uh, in this case, uh, they, ha they both have the same uh, audience signal, they have the same uh, assets and everything, but you can uh, have individual assets for each one. So basically what you can do is this asset group nine is specifically for your uh, wallets section. Let's say you sell wallets as one of your categories. Asset group nine will focus only on your wallets. You can go even further and uh, choose one specific wallet to focus on. So all of your images, all of your videos, all of your headlines would be around that one category or that one product wallets, for example, or your main uh, bestseller wallet, for example. Asset group 10 could be about bags. So if you have a bags category, you can only use images from your, ba uh, from your bags categories and send traffic to that specific area of your website. So now you basically have Google, uh, Google's intelligence working for you into testing uh, amongst each other, those all those assets and sending to the specific destination you want. This allows you to get very, very, very creative with your targeting. Uh, basically, you can have up to 100 combinations here. And let's say you even have a, a, a sale, for example, happening in three weeks. What you can do is you can create an asset group just for that sale. So all of the images, all of the YouTube videos, all of the headlines would be mentioning uh, 4th of July sale, for example, uh, with uh, text overlays and everything like tailored to that sale specifically. So those are some of the things you can do via Performance Max campaigns. This is what an asset group is. Now inside, if you, if you see here, inside your asset group, you have your audience signal, which is point number two. Uh, asset group is our pillar number one. Audience signal is our pillar number two which we are going to take a look at right now. So audience signal, what are audience signals? Audience signals are how you target your ads. Think your interest and in retargeting audiences from Facebook ads, for example. They're not the same, but they're close. Uh, 
so yeah, basically you're giving signals to Google to go after your desired customer. But here's the thing, PMX goes way beyond that, probably its most exciting feature. So as I mentioned, uh, this is a very big thing inside of PMX. Uh, previously, you could remarket people with Google Ads, you could go after uh, 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 specific audiences, but now what we, you're doing, you have aggregated intelligence and Google will uh, go after new uh, uh, audiences that match your business. Let me let me uh, explain a little better. So Google will only look at the audiences you added as signals or starting points. So let's say you sell wallets and you add uh, an audience signal for those who search for uh, wallets in the past seven days, for example, or those who have an interest in buying uh, wallets. So what Google will do is it not only is going to send traffic to that specific uh, audience, not only is going to go after people in that audience, but it's also going, uh, uh, as, as I mentioned here, after a few purchases, the campaign will start to look for other audiences that are likely to convert equally or even better than the original audience. So Google is not restricting, restricting itself to what you provided. They're actually uh, using their AI, which is uh, unlimited pretty much at this point, and they're looking for other audiences that fit your uh, uh, ideal customer, um, other interests that they may have, uh, and then they'll show ads to these new audiences uh, in uh, trying to find best performing ones. So that means you get to leverage the intelligence from the largest data center in the history of humankind to tell you exactly who buys from you and go after these people. They not only are going to tell you, but by default, the campaigns are going to go after these people uh, for you. Uh, armed, armed with this intel, you can create new asset groups and audience signals tailored to your newly discovered target per, target persona. So to show you what an audience signal is, a little uh, breakdown. Um, as you can see, you have your audience name right here. You basically name as, as you always named your campaigns. Uh, you have your custom segments, so basically uh, people based on their search activity, downloaded apps or visited uh, sites. So here's where you input your keywords, for example, your brand keywords, also uh, the brand terms, what people usually search when they uh, are looking for products like yours, and also uh, visitors that are similar to other uh, visitors, other website visitors. So you get your competitor's URL, add to the custom segments here and Google is going to go after people who are similar to your competitors visitors which is really uh, huge. Uh, also you have your data option right here so what you can do is you can input for example your customer list under this section and what Google will do is they are going to scan through your customer list and they are going to say okay uh, these uh, there's a lot of uh, patterns here amongst these people let's go after uh, similar ones and uh, see if they convert well. Uh, and then interest in the tail demographics. So here you add your in-market audiences and uh, based on what they uh, life events and uh, overall demographics. Uh, here as well, demographics. Um, usually uh, we just leave it uh, all demographics because Pmax it's very good at finding the right demographics. Okay, so that's it for um, audience signals. Now. And as you can see, this is a finalized audience signal. So you can see here, you add in your source audiences, your base audiences, and then Google is going to uh, go after new ones. Uh, now, moving on to point number three, which is goals. So with goals, you're telling Pmax what you want out of your campaigns. Uh, so in for e-commerce, we always look for purchases. Uh, then every optimization effort from Google will be to give you that go specifically. So pretty similar to what you see on Facebook when you're optimizing your campaigns for conversions or uh, what used to be your conversion actions. You're basically setting a goal for your campaign and saying, Google, um, you know, I want this out of this campaign, optimize the hell out of 
this specifically. This is different from your, from your previous conversion actions because now Google is doing a lot more thinking compared to uh, the smart shopping days, for example. So Google is not only retargeting people and, and, and sending them there and seeing if they convert, what they're doing now is uh, uh, um, it has to have a clear goal to understand how to expand your audience signals. So as I mentioned, the audience signals up here, uh, they rely a lot on new audiences. Google is going, a lot, uh, uh, going after new people, which means uh, it has to be very, very, very smart in order to find new people profitably. So it has to have a clear goal in mind. They don't want to waste your money. So they're going to be, uh, they, they, they rely on your goal to uh, uh, go after new audiences. Before it used to rely on warm, uh, warm audiences and keywords first, and then just confirm with conversion action. Now Google is going after new audience and it needs a North Star, which is your go and audience signal. So Google, will, uh, as soon as uh, the, the campaigns start to go off track, they will uh, re-optimize and refocus on the goal, okay? Uh, and now what you can do is you can basically set one goal for your account. As you can see here, you can set your main goal, which is the primary goal. So uh, for e-commerce, if you use Shopify, you know uh, Google Shopping app purchase is by far the, 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 sim, uh, the, the best integration method to use. So as you can see here, uh, as you can see here, uh, this is pretty much the account default goal. Google will only focus on giving you this specific action. So that's pretty much it for this video. I think I accomplished my goal of showing you what uh, composes a, a, a performance max campaigns and why it's such a big deal. Now I hope you understand a little better of uh, what an audience signal is, what an asset group is and what goals are uh, so that you can optimize your own campaigns and uh, have much better results with this new campaign type, which is huge. It's just huge. It's a big change Google is making towards more uh, intelligence into the campaigns, more reliance on the uh, intelligence Google has, uh, and it's great for advertisers as a whole because it brings a lot more possibilities. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something here today. I hope I brought you value. If that's the case, uh, make sure to give this video a like. Also subscribe. I'm posting a lot on Pmax campaigns and Google ads in general. So if you have a store, if you run a brand and if you run Google ads, this is a really good resource for you uh, to help you out with your campaigns. Also, if you are looking for someone to manage your Google ads campaigns and fiercely improve your results, check out the first link in the description. We are going to improve your Google ads results by at least 50% over the next 90 days guaranteed. So make sure to check it out. Click the first link in the description and learn more on how we can help you. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.